Hi, welcome to this video. My name is Tom from the aliveacademy.com and in this video we will make visible what the real root cause of our procrastination really is. Because only when we know the real cause we can heal the root and therefore automatically liberate ourselves from every other procrastination symptom too, such as uh, restlessness, perfectionism, uh, doing more pleasurable things in place of the less pleasurable ones, or carrying out less urgent tasks instead of the more urgent ones, etc. Et and only if we know what the real root of the problem is, we will know how we can stop our procrastination completely and for once and for all. Procrastination comes down to fear, actually. Fear that we can't do something, or that something won't work out if we would do it. Or fear that we can't handle a situation or feel discomfort if we would face it, actually. Now, to end the root of the problem together with all its symptoms for once and for all, and therefore to shine the light onto our dark procrastination or onto our dark fears, I came up with a drawing to show you. I don't want to give you a superficial solution, so I want to take you back to the origin, to the moment we were born. Let's represent this heart as a symbol of our free, pure and fulfilled feelings from at our birth. Then, from the moment until now, we all have encountered painful emotions and none of us have learned how to solve this pain and the pain sets around our pure and fulfilled feelings. Of course, no one of us really want to feel this pain. That's why we all found a different way of dealing with this. Do you know how? By building a wall of control around it. And how do we build that wall? We all know this, I guess. From that moment, we stop living from our feeling and we start living from our mind or our thinking. Let me symbolize this brain for our thinking. From that moment, we use our thinking nonstop to search for distractions outside ourselves that have to prevent us from feeling pain. And these distractions or our non-stop thinking, yes, of course, I should be doing this or I should be doing this or otherwise it wouldn't feel right, this and this and that. This annoying little voice inside our head, I'm sure we all know of, services as a band-aid on top of our wall of control to prevent ourselves from feeling. The problem is that we do not just cover up our pain, but also our pure feelings. And within our distractions, we are still looking for a feeling. For example, in creating success, we actually are looking for a feeling of fulfillment. Or by starting a relationship, because we'd rather not be alone, because then we are not distracted anymore and then we feel pain. So we are searching for a feeling to fulfill ourselves with a relationship. And even in, in simple things, a new smartphone, a new car, uh, a new house, we search for this long-lasting feeling of being complete and fulfilled by running away from our feelings. The contradiction shows itself very clearly, yet we do not question ourselves about these choices and the routine that it has become for so many of us. We rather invest all our money and time to build a life filled with these distractions that never work permanently, that create something like a reality replacement for the feeling that we actually are missing. And this becomes a replaced identity of ourselves. And we start to believe to have become this illusion. The problem is that when we are running away from our feelings, and at the same time are looking for in these distractions for a feeling of fulfillment that never comes, then we will have to continuously search for new distractions. New, new, etc., etc., until we can't keep up anymore. This pattern is extremely exhausting. We all are aware of this. Let me symbolize sweat drops for this. This is an imprisoning pattern. Let me symbolize this lock for this. Now, what is fear? Fear is just a resistance that we would fail in getting our next distraction or that one of our created distractions will disappear or will be taken away from us because then our band-aid will no longer work and then obviously we will start to feel the pain again that we haven't resolved yet. I hope by showing you this drawing that fear has a very valuable function. That fear is not only pretty annoying but it's also a wake-up call that this replacement reality doesn't work. 
So as long as we still experience fear tells us that we are still having unsolved pain and are settling for a replacement reality instead of independently feeling fulfilled and alive in freedom. There actually is a reality possible in which we can choose to live the way we really are, feeling independently fulfilled without fear and unsolved pain. If we learn to solve all of our unsolved pain and fear, then our restless thinking to escape in distractions isn't necessary anymore either. And only then we can start to create in freedom. Only then we can create a relationship in freedom or success or whatever we feel like creating. And only then we don't have any fears that it will disappear again. And only then we can truly enjoy to the fullest. And we don't have any fears anymore that things, people or achievements may be taken away from us because we feel complete and fulfilled independently without experiencing fear and having pain anymore. Do you know the difference between creating something as a distraction or as a, an addiction or as a compensation? Because this is the mask we all are wearing, the mask of pretending. Do you know the difference between doing this and doing something upon free will? An easy way to check if you stop doing what you are doing and you are still feeling completely fulfilled, then you are acting upon free will. On the other hand, when you stop doing what you're trying to do or achieve and you will start feeling restless, because that is how pain feels. Pain doesn't feel like, oh, I'm in pain. Pain feels like feeling restless, irritating, angry, bored. Then you know that you are doing it to create a compensation reality or as a distraction from unsolved feelings. And the good news is that there actually is a way to solve the root of all pain, which will make all fear to feel pain vanish as well, which will let you create without limitations. And importantly, you don't need to go through this pain again to get rid of it. We now know that all of our fears and other symptoms are helping signals and serve us with a very valuable message. Our fear and our symptoms are here to tell us that the direction that we are going is a wrong and unhealthy direction. It warns us that if we continue to ignore this unhealthy wrong direction of dis-ease, that our body might come up with bigger actual diseases. So our fear and our symptoms are here to tell us that true liberation or the true cure is to be found in the opposite direction in solving our unsolved pain. So no more fears or any other symptom can arise. Now, do you believe that by numbing these signals, for example, uh, underneath a blanket of medication, will help us to solve the real problem? Or does it only give us a short shot of distraction like we've seen in the drawing? Now, the more I was trying to create a successful mask or the more I was trying to run away from my insecurities or from my fears or from my pains, the more my exhausting fears uh, in other forms kept arising and they didn't go away. I only started to feel truly liberated, uh, relaxed, filled with joy, filled with self-esteem and enjoying every little thing around me when I decided to go to the root of my fear, of my pain, and solve them. Because when we are no longer imprisoned in this exhausting system driven by fear and pain and relating symptoms, we will feel independently filled with joy. And when we feel only joy without the fear and without the pain, there won't be any obstructions left to create whatever belongs to us naturally. And when we create out of joy, without any obstructions, success and abundance are just logical consequences. So basically, liberating ourselves from this limiting imprisonment by fear and pain is the key to go from limitations and scarcity to natural abundance. Or does liberation come from working even harder against our will in the wrong direction out of fear? Everyone can make this happen for themselves, regardless our current situation. You don't need to cultivate it. 
We don't have to be rich or try really, really hard. We don't need to change our relationship or the place where we are living. We don't need to change the way we look. Of course, we are free to do any of this, but it's not required at all. Just understanding how, how we can go past the root of our fear and our pain is enough. Now, this video is limited in time, but do you want to know uh, how to immediately get past a symptom of fear whenever it occurs? Or do you want to know the truth about fear and pain that will set you free? Well, then click on the link above or at the end of this video, depending on where you look at this. And this will take you to my blog. And from there, I will be able to send you four videos free of charge. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to help me liberate even more people from fear, stress and pain by making the real cause and the unhealthy wrong direction visible, please share this video with your friends. Now, click on the link and I will see you in the next videos.